Hello, in this video I'm going to be taking another look at some free music library management software called Foobar 2000. In particular I'll be looking at playlists, including how to create them, add music to them, save them, delete them and organise them into folders using a component that extends the software. Let's start with a look at playlists. The first thing you need to check is that the user interface is showing the playlist view. On screen here, I'm just looking at the simple default UI. If your screen looks different to this, just go to the View menu, click on Layout and select Quick Setup. I have a few playlists already set up. These appear as tabs along the playlist view in the layout I'm using. That's all I'm going to say about layouts for now, because I'll cover them in another video. So how do you start a new playlist? You can either create a new playlist by going to the File menu and choosing New Playlist, or by navigating the library to find the first song or album that you want to add to a new playlist, and then right-clicking it to open a context menu, and then hit Send to New Playlist. If you choose that right-click method, the playlist will be shown and the first song will start playing. If you choose to create a new playlist using the file menu, the name of the playlist will be New Playlist. If you choose to right click on an album or song, the name of the playlist will be the title of that album or song. The playlist will appear as a tab that you can click on to view its contents. Changing the name of the playlist is straightforward. If you right click on the tab, you can see Rename Playlist is the top choice in the context menu. Hit that to rename your playlist by typing the new name for it. So let's return now to the library and right-click on a song to bring up the context menu again. As you can see, there are other options. The first option, Send to Current Playlist, should be used with caution because it will replace the contents of the currently selected playlist with what you've just sent to it. I don't really recommend this, and instead you should use the Add to Current Playlist option if your playlist already contains some songs. I'm going to skip the option to create an auto playlist for the moment, but copy is an option and you can use good old copy and paste commands to add songs to playlists. If you have created a playlist that you want to delete, you can do that by right clicking on the playlist tab name and hit the remove playlist option. You can also move the position of the playlist tab left or right by choosing those options. Maybe you want them in a certain order. The other thing you can do from the right click menu on a playlist is to save an individual playlist or save all playlists in one action. You can create FPL or M3U or M3U8 files depending on your choice. These are text files and can be read by other software and also opened in a text editor, unlike the FPL format which is proprietary to FUBAR. If you remove a playlist but realise you've made a mistake and want it back, you can restore it by right-clicking on a tab and hitting the Restore option and then selecting the playlist to restore. The removed playlists are only restorable until you exit FUBAR 2000 because when you restart FUBAR 2000 the Restore option won't be available. Open the View menu and click on Playlist Manager. This gives you another way to view your playlists. You can change the information displayed by right-clicking on the header and ticking the columns you want to see. 
I like to see the total duration of all my playlists, so I usually enable that column. There's no menu bar, but you can right click anywhere in the dialog to bring up a context menu. And from there you can activate a playlist, rename it, remove it and create a new playlist. I'm now going to introduce something called components. These are software extensions written by the community that extend the features of FUBAR 2000. You can open the file menu and select preferences. And at the top of the list in the preferences dialog, you can see components. Click this to see all components you have installed. Components that are part of the original installation or have been installed manually are greyed out. To see what components are available, click the link labelled Get More Components, which will take you to the FUBAR 2000 Components webpage. From the webpage, follow the links and you should be able to find and download uh, links for the different components. You have to download the components and then hit the install button. I'm just going to mention several that I found useful. Facets is a useful way to browse your library using metadata. I found two components to create a panel to show the lyrics of songs as the song is playing. They are called multi-source lyrics and lyrics show panel 3. I have installed another component called One Way Sync that helps me easily transfer playlists of songs to play on my MP3 player. Playback statistics capture statistics about songs I play. Finally, Text Tools has helped me to output lists of songs in a text form that I can paste into documents or emails. One component you can't see is one named Columns UI. I've removed it temporarily because this offers another way to customize the interface. Playlist Organizer is a component that helps you organize your playlists into folders. It might be useful if you have a lot of playlists. I don't have that many playlists at the moment, but I can see the value of organizing them in a more structured way. This is where this video ends. Join me for the next one in which I'll be explaining how you can customize the user interface. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and gotten something out of it, I'd be grateful for a like. And if you don't want to miss any future videos, why not subscribe? Until next time, bye.